This is a lesson on extending number patterns. And uh, it's also going to be dealing with shapes somewhat. And so in order to deal with shapes, we need to review a couple of terms that you probably learned last year in math and we'll be looking at again in our uh, measurement unit. And so one of those uh, words is perimeter. And perimeter is the number of units around a shape. So it's the walls of a shape, not the inside. And it's the number of units in each wall. So the perimeter of this shape is four because we've got one, two, three, four. Four walls, so it's four. Uh, I guess four pieces of wall would be more, a more accurate word. Okay, the next one is two squares put together. Now, remember that we do not look at that one. We do not count this inside wall, only the outside walls. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This er, the perimeter of this shape is six. What would be the perimeter of this shape? Remember that we ignore these ones. We just count the outside. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The perimeter of this shape is eight. So perimeter is just the outside of a shape and how many is in there. Now area, on the other hand, is the amount of space inside a shape. So it would be like the floor space of the shape. For example, if we've got this one square here, since there's only one square, then the area of the shape is one. And at the uh, next shape, we've got two squares put together, and the area of those is two because we've got one, two. So the area is two. What is the area of this shape? Well, it, we've got one, two, three, four. The area is four. Pretty straightforward. Uh, perimeter, you have to watch a little closer than area. <clears throat> so that you're counting all each of the pieces of a wall and not the inside. <clears throat> okay, so um, when, when you're looking at a series of shapes, make sure that you use a table to help you decide what the pattern rule is. So we've got these shapes here. We've got this shape, which has uh, four dots on the perimeter, which is what we're looking at is the perimeter. This shape, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 12 dots. That's shape 1. This is shape 2. Shape 3 has, I've already counted, 20 dots. Shape 4 has 28 dots around it. So we need to um, find a pattern for the shape above and complete the table. And if you look down here, we're going to have to draw the next two squares on dot paper. And then we're going to have to figure out how many dots would be on the next shape without drawing it. So we're going to have to look at a few different uh, patterns. So let's look at the visual patterns first on this. Um, let's see how many dots are in one line across. So I've got uh, two dots here. Then I've got one, two, three, four dots on this edge. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six dots on this edge. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots on this edge. So I see a pattern here, two, four, six, eight. The next number that I would count would be 10. So I would count 10 dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I would count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice how this dot get, got counted twice. It got counted for this across and also this across. And there is shape five. Shape five it wants us to draw. And then we have to figure out the number of dots on the perimeter. So I know I've got 10 here. Then I'll count 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 dots is what I have come up with. Okay. Um, 36 dots, and I know that some of you might have been thinking that it was going to be 40 dots because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 dots. So you just thought, okay, 4 edges and 10 dots. 
But remember that each one of these is one of those 10. It's counted twice for that 10. So you'd have to subtract 4 from your answer to get 36 instead of 40. Now you pause the video and you try shape uh, 6 on your own and then play again once you're finished to check to make sure you've got the right answer. Okay. Okay, so shape 6 so shape six should look like this. It should have 12 on each edge. And the number of dots is going to be, what is it, 48? Nope. 44, I think. Let's check. So if I were to count, I have 12 and then 12 times 4. Remember, we 12 times 4 dots. So um, 12 times 4 is 48. And then we can subtract those 4 dots that are repeated in each thing. And then we'll end up with 44 dots. And oh, look, there's 44. Another way that I could have figured this out is I could look at what one edge is, subtract one from it, so that I'm only counting up to here for each, each dot. So I only count each dot once then, and times that by 12. So that would be 11 times 4, which is 44. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because the next step, you're going to have to figure out what um, the dots would be in shape seven. So, um, since the last shape had 12 dots on the edge, we know that this is going to be a 14 by 14 square. It's gonna have 14 dots on each edge. That's not a square. <laughs> so I all the room I have though, so it's gonna be 14 by 14, okay? So please pause the video and see if you can figure out how many dots would be on the perimeter. Play again once you've finished. Okay, so um, let's do the way that I, uh, the last way that I did. So um, let's take 14 and we'll subtract one from it. We'll multiply that by four. So 13 times four is what I want to do. I'm gonna write it actually one on top of the other though because that gets a little tricky. So four times three is 12. Then four times one is four plus one is five. So 52. Now there was another pattern though. If you didn't think, figure out figure it out mathematically, you may have noticed there's a pattern. Now this four is in the ones place. So you'll notice that it goes four, two, zero, eight, six, four, two. So it skip counts by twos backwards in the ones place. And then it just goes up by ones in the tens place. We've got one, two, oh, maybe it doesn't quite do that two and then three, four, five, it sort of does. It's sort of a pattern that way. But this is the, the sure way that you'll figure out the answer in this question. So you're not always gonna be working with squares, but this was one way that you could have figured it out. Um, your textbook assignment is on page 12 to 13 and it's numbers one to four. And I know you didn't have this written down, so make sure you write down one to four.